Hi. Okay, guys, I'm back to show you how to make the chicken pot pie part. My hair is still not staying down. So you take and put um, one and a half tablespoons of oil in a pan, and then go ahead and get that warming. And then you're going to cut up a large onion and chop it up and put that in there and saute it. So I have my onion already cut up, so I'll throw that in there. Grab my handy dandy spoon. You're gonna soften those. And then um, you can put whatever you guys would like in your chicken pot pie. We just do chicken and potatoes and carrots. Um, can I cheat? Because it's really hard to do cooked carrots and cooked potatoes quickly. So we buy like diced tin potatoes and carrots sliced or chopped or however or cubed or however you want it to go about it. And so after the onions are sauteed a little bit, we'll add those in just to kind of warm them up if you decided you wanted to go ahead and make them fresh and cut up and dice potatoes and carrots and do it that way. Um, I guess I would cook them first and make so it's a little easier and so that you know that they get soft and then cut them up and put them in the pan like I'm doing but they're already obviously done. This is just easier for me than having to fight with doing all that extra work. So that's how we do it. You can add peas, you can add celery, but that's what we choose to use. let those soften and at that time um while these are working um i go ahead and do two chicken fairly good sized chicken breasts in my instapot and shred that up to use as a chicken you can use rotisserie chicken canned chicken if you want you can do use it however you'd like but that's how i do it because it works really easy in 20 minutes i have nice soft tender chicken I like white meat um, over having dark meat, so entirely your choice. Um, now I can't remember what the temperature of the um, oven's supposed to be at. I'll have to look that up later, and then I'll let you guys know. I cannot remember to save my soul. Again, made this recipe a bazillion times and I still don't have a deal. This is actually probably my favorite recipe. So, I absolutely love this and usually eat way too much of it, but. If you wanted to get the rest of your um, ingredients ready, you're going to need um, some chicken broth, flour, milk, and butter, thyme, and parsley, salt and pepper. Um, is what you're all going to need for the rest of it. Um, if you want, you could put some dry sherry in it also. I don't do that, but that is always an option. Because the recipe does call for three to four cups of shredded chicken probably have about three um so if you wanted more chicken you could always do more but that actually works out really well and we get our chicken from fresh time and they have like two four, six, a six pack for like nine bucks so i usually spread them into um two chicken breasts and freeze them that way and then pull them out to do most of my meals with our family of four um again however you guys see fit so these onions are pretty getting pretty soft so i'm going to add in my carrots and my taters and mix them all in and i will warn you this does seem to take a lot of dishes so heads up 
recipe. This recipe does um, <laughs> does require um, making a few extra dishes. It's worth it, I promise you. And if any of you guys um, came to Advent dinners, this is the chicken pot pie I made um, for Advent. So, same recipe. So you're gonna add some salt and pepper. I'm sure it tells me, it just says to add some. It doesn't actually give any measurements, so I just kinda spread over the top and stir it in. And I'll let this kind of warm and soften a little bit. Finish cooking those onions through, even though the potatoes and carrots are obviously already cooked. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab a bowl. Uh, maybe. And so I'm grabbing a bowl because as soon as we get done cooking this to the where I want it. We're gonna put this in a bowl and use the pan to make our roux. And then we'll add everything all together. So that is looking pretty good for me, so. And then you're going to add four tablespoons of butter. I probably will try to cut that up just because it melts better than in the pan. More quickly, I guess. Sorry, the dogs are going to bark. Because that's what happens at my house. Okay. So we're going to melt that butter down in the pan. And you're probably going to want to get a whisk for this when you get it all melted down. Now that I've done that, because we are going to add a half a cup of flour to the, the butter and make a nice paste in the roux out of this. So, I added a half a cup. And stir that into the butter till you get that crumbly, almost pasty, obviously. Oops, splattered butter everywhere. And then this is where you're gonna add in one and a half, or yeah, one and a half cups of milk until we get going with this nice consistency. So I, I like to add it in about a half a cup at a time entirely up to you. I like to get, try to get the quads <laughs> before. Otherwise, and I will warn you, it will come out not as, I always struggle to make this one, the roux, um, without it getting really clumpy. So, so I'm going to add in that milk. I always want it to come out nice and smooth. And for some reason, it never works out that way, but it's not a big deal because as it cooks in the stove, it works its way out so you don't have the giant clods of flour. So then it gets to almost like a <laughs> thick paste. I'm going to add a little bit more milk because I forgot to do the last bit. Cut. So then... You got this nice paste in this. That's where the fun begins. Then you're gonna add two to two and three fourths cups of chicken broth. I highly recommend going for the larger amount in the broth. And you can add this in however you want. Like I said, it's gonna come out, I feel like, clotty anyway, because once you add the broth, it just doesn't the milk make a nice roux with but once you start adding the the broth it just kind of almost stays clumpy 
Um, but like I was saying, I usually try to add most of that broth in just because the chicken, um, even though the chicken is cooked, it still sucks up a lot of that broth when you go to put it in the oven. So I always do shoot for a little extra or the more amount. So it's very runny when I... Get done with it usually and you can do it however you know you choose but I do like it um, to soak up and then especially with the biscuits especially being the, the homemade biscuits that I use it really does suck up most of it and it's so it's not quite as runny so you're gonna do all that honestly I cannot even remember how much I put in so we're just gonna add a little but it does call for two and to two and three four so it's gonna look really runny but that's okay so then you're gonna add back in your carrots onions peas celery whatever you guys decide to put back in there and your chicken grab our chicken Like I said, lots of extra dishes here. One. And add my chicken. I got it somewhat shredded, but there's still some pretty good sized chunks. It smells so good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And of course, the dogs are right under my feet. Saying, Mom, you can drop me chicken. Anytime you'd like. So, and I just splatter everywhere. And then after you, you get all of your chicken in there. I just made a mess. I sloshed it. Surprise. I am not the cleanest cook, that's for sure. Okay, last bit. Like I said, um, I don't usually measure out the chicken. I just do the, the two cups. But looking at it, I'd say I have about three cups. So you're gonna stir that chicken up in there. add some parsley and some thyme and it says mm, a half a teaspoon of dried thyme and three tablespoons of parsley leaves so I again I don't like to measure too well with this stuff so I just kind of sprinkle the parsley leaves mine just because I don't like it to stick. It doesn't usually stick, but I do spray my pan. Let's see if I can make any more of a mess. And then, let's make sure I hit the pan. 
gel it's heavy. Pull it out. And it's smoking. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. And then I will tell you the temperature and add that into the recipe or into the information because I don't remember. Anyway, um, and then you're going to cook it without the biscuits for 18 minutes. Oh my goodness, I'm losing it. And then you'll pull it out and then you're going to add your biscuits and cook for 10 to 12 minutes. So this is what it looks like. It looks so pretty and yummy. And there you go. That is how we make our chicken pot pie. So you guys try it. I hope you enjoy it. Talk to you later. Bye.